everyone, it's Jenny Yetto from the Pixie Post, and I am out here enjoying the sun, of course. Um, it's another beautiful day here in Nevada, and I'm going to try to switch this camera around so you guys can have an idea of how beautiful it really is. So it is absolutely beautiful. Even the trees, the leaves and colors are so pretty right now. There's such a calm and tranquility around here right now. This is slight breeze, but it's so perfect. Not too much. It's as if everything is in balance. And it's fitting because today is the super full moon or the super full flower moon. And it's very, very significant as most full moons are. Usually I'd be doing a moon card reading video uh, for the Pixie Post channel, um, I'm really not feeling it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just I've been noticing not as much of a connection with that card deck. As beautiful as it is, um, the energy is still vibrant in it, but I'm not feeling that inner soul connection. And I have to have that kind of resonance with my card decks or any of them when I'm doing these kind of readings. And I'm not gonna give a false reading on my channel and try to pose it as a real connection and a reality for anyone else. So to be authentic and to be transparent, I apologize there will be no video for that. But there are more videos coming out that I'm currently working on. And I do have something that is being channeled through for the supermoon. Um, like I just said a minute ago, it's very significant because at the time we are going through right now, it's a very profound journey. Um, myself included, a lot of us have been feeling a, an energetic shift in our lives. And some of us are waking up more than we have before. And that could be in a spiritual sense or even in just a life-changing sense. What is really important right now is to clear any old energy in your life and really get to the root of anything that's holding you back, any obstacles that you keep facing and you keep coming across in your path. It may be things that are frustrating you, uh, maybe little uh, path roadblocks that stunt your creative energy. Um, it could be relationships that have gone stale. Um, it could even be physical clutter or energetic clutter. Um, a lot of us, myself included, overthink things, um, have a lot of mental clutter that we need to clear. And in the super full moon, that is a perfect time to do this. And that's when you really have to get real with yourself. It's not a sugar-coated, candy-hearted um, time. You can't sweep things under the rug and use other coping mechanisms and expect it to go away. This is a time to really get honest with yourself. Not blame yourself. Not put yourself down. Uh, no negative self-talk. Be forgiving. Be Give yourself grace. You're doing the best you can. And that goes for all of you. And it's just time to make that change. It's basically decision time. Are you going to keep going on the path that you may not be happy with and that you may not be resonating with? And just go along, you know, kind of keep your head in the sand. Or will you make that promise to yourself to shift your reality? work on your inner self little by little it doesn't have to be changed overnight and it's actually not recommended little by little is the best way to go because your soul and your life can connect with this little changes because with little changes can become big changes and tonight is the time when the full moon energy is the at its peak and when you have that opportunity to make those changes, maybe that you've been putting off or didn't think possible, to have that little bit of faith and go forward. Go within. 
work on what needs to be worked on. Make that start. And you can do it with crystals, meditation, journaling, um, maybe just sitting and being. Just be. Forget what you have to do as far as making a deadline. Forget about what society accepts of you. Forget about all that, at least for a few moments. And look within your heart. See what you want. What can you do to better yourself and better your life? And make that shift and go on a new path. The path that you are meant to go on. So that is the message that channeled through me today from Source. And I hope you found it helpful. I'm sending lots of love, lots of pixie dust to all of you. Um, it feels good to be alive. Even in this moment. Just to enjoy what life brings me every day. The gift of being present, the gift of having air in my lungs, and the gift to honor all of you. So until the next time, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste.